what, who does Rain, who plays Rain? Hi, I'm SoCal Honey Badger, and that was my intro. Who's, wh Toad wh does. Player, player. I think Rain's always been kind of a flashy um, character that appeals to people that like to hit buttons. Yeah. Rain's though quite a bit different in this game. Rain has traditionally been a ninja. In this game, in Liu Kang's new era, he's been completely reimagined as a maid. Yeah, and see, that's what the problem was. A maid. Because I heard him. A maid. First, I said, hold on. A maid. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. He's the high mage in Sindel's court, and his moveset has substantially changed. There will be little hints and fud nods to the previous versions of Rain, like you'd expect, right. but he's going to be one of the more uh, radically altered characters, and I think it's an interesting new take. So, <laughs> set. It's pretty neat, so let's check it out. Let's do it. Oh, man. So you'll he notice sick. right off the bat, he has a new weapon, which is his wizard staff. With a toad on it. And he uses it in most of his normal attacks. Ooh. And he is Damn, definitely he's got buttons. much less of a physical fighter than he ever has been before. He is a very powerful mage. What? He uses it in most of his attacks couple normals I really wanted to talk about. Like you can see even his sweep. Mm. Instead of using his what foot. The fuck that is sick. He literally uses his water staff. This is definitely I the love the that is tight. so good. <laughs> and you'll notice the water leaves the top, gets in there and then comes back to the top. Right. I absolutely love it. So let's start off with a couple normals I really wanted to show. His forward two. Forward two one three is this like really good range mid be quick. That's a it's chunky button, man. Forward three, which is an overhead, and a double overhead, and he gets a pop up. That'll be one of his most important, I think. And then one other normal I really wanted to show was a standing four. Even his standing no four is rain kick. Tremendous leg strength. Right. So strong that he can actually kick you across the world. Now this is an interesting one because if you hold it, he gets a combo. Oh, you have to charge it to combo. And he can also cancel out of the hold. Ooh, I like that. Okay. There you go, see, I'm good. And let's check out his throw, which is a nice nod to the classic water bubble. He goes in with you and then you burst out. Okay, water bubble is his grab. So you can see his normal attacks are very fresh and different. And I think the water effects are awesome. Mm -hmm. So you want to go into a special move? I think so. So he has some really interesting zoning tools. I mean, some might even call him a premier zoner. <laughs> Let's start with his straight projectile, which takes up a ton of real estate. It's fairly quick. Damn, is that a beam? interesting ways that you can change it. If you EX it, he gets a full knockdown. That's going to be hard to jump. Down and get a stagger. And you can actually cancel out of this hold down. So you can mix up doing the move, timings, yeah. doing different timings, doing the EX, or canceling out of it. You, you can probably really combo it. off of that EX with the right assist. When you have a projectile like that that takes up a ton of space, what's the one thing you know the opponent's going to try to do to beat it? Jump? Jump. And that's not going to be super effective because he has an anti-air version. And this has a very neat EX that actually allows him to pop up for combos. Oh, okay. So I think it's pretty cool. Again, it makes a full, you know, full screen projectile become kind of an offensive tool up close. Now, one thing would be, well, what happens if they're using projectiles against him? And he has a water bubble where he surrounds himself in water. Oh, they brought that and back. And any projectile is going to be negated. It'll actually just be destroyed when it hits the water bubble. And this is something that he can set up, go behind, okay. go in the middle of. Works as a shield. Exactly. But if you EX it, it surrounds him and travels with him. Kind of walk him down. Exactly. So then you can go in, do his lows, 
do his overhead, all that good stuff when he has the water shield on. Gotcha. Now, there's other ways you can get it. You can set these water portals, and he can set them anywhere he wants. And then he can actually warp through. So you could do cool stuff. Okay, he's going to take here, some like... And when you want to get out, warp back to where you were. Or, when you're in, you can set one, do some fun zoning, and then use this to get back in. Okay. And then you can go straight into combos, fun stuff like that. Now, once okay. you've established that you're willing to teleport or throw out some of these fireballs, and the opponent's scared, you're gonna to have to really, really unga bunga him. He has close, medium, and far. Okay, what does this do? These will go on the ground, and if the opponent walks into it, they get popped up for combos. I love how he just grabs the top of his staff and yes, throws it down. Yes, it is really so cool. cool. Okay, another move he has is his geyser. This is a pretty good advancing special he can shoot one into. And if he EX it, it has armor. So it's a good wake up attack. On a, a launch? Oh, pressure. he probably needs an assist. And I think it'll be one of his best combo enemies. And then lastly, one more awesome full range move that kind of shows the full extent of his power. Oh. Is that an overhead? No, and it's a mid. This is the move that he can actually hold. Or cancel and just drop down. So you can do stuff like you're doing your your uh, water ball. I almost called it a fireball, and it's mm. literally the opposite of that. Go into this, fake out the opponent, immediately drop down. You can well, set it doesn't up, you look like he can launch. Stuff. Set a portal. You might have to spend bar to. You're doing that thunder launch. god move. Cancel it. Go through the portal. Just all kind of options on the screen. I think. Um, He's going to be a really interesting character to kind of freeze them up full screen to get in and start doing his mix-ups. He's got, you've got to get a lot of... Let's kind of show how he can use I don't know about this design. I assigned him Striker because I think a cop teaming with a wizard is the exact kind of thing you'd see in Mortal Kombat, sure. right? So the first thing I'll show with Striker is he has... He's definitely a Toad his character. Toss. He's definitely the kind of shit in, Toad would be excited to see. Because he seems excessively complicated high. for the sake of being and complicated. Which means <laughs> they can come out while Rain is Like, this is like designed for Toad. Like, you are doing your straight up. Water yeah, he's gonna really need grenade. assists. Like and that kind of shit is combos. gonna make him very, very tough to get in. So you can do on. stuff like. Damn, striker uh, assist seems good just for those striker bombs alone. Also has a set of baton moves. He's got cop bop, where he comes in and does an overhead, and the classic baton sweep from MK3. So these are lows and overheads. So great access example. to both of them. Yes. Nice. One thing you could do. Unblockables. You got your overhead. And then you call the stand blocking all the time because they don't want to get popped up. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do? Sweep them. But you can also do this in a string. So in overhead, overhead, you can do overhead, low. That is very and fast. And used to the timing. You won't like, be able oh, to react to that. You're going to have to like Ninja Killer read or that. Sonic. People with good reflexes. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, I can fuzzy that. No, you start doing I don't stuff think like fuzzy that. Cop bop. Mix it. it up. So just from this 50-50, he can use striker. So you can't just react to striker. Like, you have to guess the mix because the animation's exactly. the same. That's the key. That's Got all it. you have to do. Got it. Like a famous football player once said, it's more than a 50-50. Got it. Lastly, striker has one more move, which I think is probably my favorite. My favorite thing is to use the sports reference. Well, sort of. It was some tagline. Um, half half. Striker comes from behind and handcuffs you. Oh, and this what? Gives you a reset. Damn, so everybody gets a standing reset? Okay. So you get into your combos with a handcuff move, then go in and continue your offense. So, like, you could start a combo with your overhead, 
go into the handcuffs and then make them guess low. Got it. It's super that's fun. That's really cool. Yeah. So I think that that's, is uh, sick. That's Rain and Striker, and I maybe go into his Fatal Blow. Let's take a look. And I'll just say Striker is my favorite Fatal Blow. Okay. Ooh. That was tight. All right, that was Rain. Yep. Uh, very exciting. People get their hands on Rain soon. That'll be awesome. He's definitely not washed up. Nope. Nope. Some fresh moves to make your opponent salty. Nice. Hey, so if you uh, follow YouTube enough, you know that they like to put weird stuff all over the screen for the last 30 seconds. So this is going to fill that space. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably right there and there, all over the place right now. Hmm. Go ahead and click that stuff if you want. Uh, uh, and that's 30 seconds. <laughs>